Well, welcome everybody. You join us here for our coverage of what is set to be a truly exciting final. Formalities are underway. Everybody is soaking up an energetic, highly charged atmosphere within the ground. The teams will be with us very shortly. We look forward, of course, to that special moment. In the meantime, we take in the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of what should be a really outstanding final. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Two teams, Jim Beglin, with one common thought, to have their names on this famous trophy. Bring it back memories for me, Peter. A chance to have your name in the club's history. Having had the privilege of experiencing this uh, a fair few times in my own career, there really is nothing that compares. Once you get there, you want to keep coming back. I still feel like that now. end-to-end -end and highly entertaining but fear of defeat can often dominate the motions so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense played out to the right looks to set one up as a pop Idris again Mbappe Sergio Ramos Sergio Ramos plays it forward Gone for a throw in. <laughs> Rafael Baran. Juan Bissaka. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Just brushed off the ball there. Mbappe. Bernat. Great strength on the ball. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. But what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Idris again. And it's Mbappe. Hoists it forward. Now the counter. He's through. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Gets away from his opponents. Oh, he's got that all wrong. And it's a penalty. And this could turn out to be one big kick of the ball. And he has shown him a yellow card. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. This to go one up. And 
he was just never going to miss. Well, that was a big pressure kick, and he didn't let his team down. He took that so calmly. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. Idrissa Gay. Mbappe into the channel. He's in space and looking for options. Has a goal! Yes! Paris Saint-Germain are back on level terms. Pretty simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then... Back. It's Sancho! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Sancho really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. For much more than that, a difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Mbappe. Mbappe! Good strike, quite an alarm. Mbappe almost put a side ahead with a, a pretty fierce attempt. He really spanked that. Rashford gets it out to the wing. And the finish! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Sure, simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Up for the header! He's missed, but not by that far. Maguire certainly could have and should have made more of that. again Sergio Ramos tries to get it forward quickly one Bissaka and it's Cristiano Ronaldo Rashford striding forward facing goal Had a shot! Oh, nearly. Nearly is nothing. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? A 
think both teams have played their part in what's been a, a pretty tight affair and this is exactly the type of match now when the better players can come to the fore and make all the difference. So both teams heading off for the break, an interesting game has brewed up here, hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but the score at half-time is 1-1. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Manchester United clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Plenty waiting in the middle. Goes for goal! And out to safety. Messi with the foul. Shaw, Bruno Fernandes. Maro Icardi. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Quick shapes to shoot! Goal! Manchester United! And they're back in front! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. He's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Manchester United were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Kimpembe gets it forward. Icardi is flagged offside. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. McTominay positions himself well and cuts it out. Steered forward. Well positioned to make that interception. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Time for a change in personnel. Wrestled off the ball. It's a loose ball. Pogba. McTominay. Rafael Varan. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, shooting chance! Back of the net! Two ahead, late in the day, game over, surely. 
and how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Manchester United making consecutive changes here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. So the lead now is two. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. Icardi, that's a brilliant interception. Played towards the front men. And it's Fernandez. So not long left in this now. Just a few moments from glory. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Looking to hit the front line, and back to base. De Gea gets it upfield. And it's played forward. Keylor Navas can claim that. Has it out wide now. Gets the better of his man. Neymar and the shot! Icardi with a shot! Yes, it's there! Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? De Gea did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. I doubt he'll score too many, which come easier than that, Peter. But just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. Paris Saint-Germain give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Ball through needs to be good here. Can't get the better of his opposite number. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Smart save, he had plenty to do. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Sancho being applauded off here, having made a sub. Nemo with a shot! And he's found the net! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! Great reactions in front of goal, he just saw what was on. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. So all, all square after 90 minutes, there will be extra time. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition, and sometimes that isn't rewarded with goals just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. So to clarify, extra time will follow. And we're up and running. 
Manchester United conceded an equaliser late on. Now they have to do it all again. Do they have what it takes? Rashford, Cristiano Ronaldo, Greenwood, and the shot! Oh, it's in! Late in the day, this could well be it! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that face. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Manchester United get themselves into the lead. Marco Verratti. And it's Messi. Messi with a delicate ball. Marquinhos gets flagged offside. Greenwood, Greenwood, gets through on his own. And the Herrera, Herrera drives it forward. Icardi. Paris Saint-Germain uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Marco Verratti. Chipped through. And he's cut it out. It for the first period of extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. Well, here we go then. So, time for a bit of smash and grab. Maguire does well to read it and intercepts. Herrera cuts it out. Marrow Icardi, now it's Messi, defenders on the back foot. Oh, some tackle that. Rafael Varane, keeper sends it forward. Alex Tellez, he gets past his man. Paredes goes looking. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast. Yeah, he's fouled him there. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, what possessed him to do that, Peter? I have no idea. It's, uh, it's not in keeping with the quality of the performance. Paris Saint-Germain need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. A real chance to break. Hits one! It's in! They have stolen level at the last! Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven.
all square again into the dying minutes. And that is it. No winner after two hours of football. It is going to be penalties. Ah, it's a big well done to both defences for refusing to buckle under the pressure. Fatigue with focus is, is not the norm. 20 minutes of action have taken their toll, but have proved inconclusive. And now this is it. So the final act of the final. Rashford steps up to take the first one. And he's found the net. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Neymar with eyes on the prize. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. This to double their advantage. And that doubles their lead. Paris Saint-Germain trailing by two now. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. This to put them two up. Keeper's gone the wrong way. And the lead is two. Paris Saint-Germain can't afford to miss another one. No, it's been saved. Well, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. This then to seal it. Oh, brilliant. He had to save it and he did. He was so focused there. Fantastic save. So it's down to him to keep it alive. It's in. He's kept the minute. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. So can he do it? That's won it! Manchester United are the winners. The ceremony is fitting. Their triumph has been beautiful indeed. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions. And this is their moment.